About 11 months ago, I blew out my ACL and my meniscus. I had surgery on my knee. I came home from the hospital, full cast, on crutches, uh, you know, they gave me the pain meds. I looked at the pain meds. I threw them all out. That was my first decision I made. The next day, I went on the computer and I looked for um, a half marathon race that was somewhat um, out in the future. So this was last September of 2015. So I got online and I found a half marathon race for June of 2016. And what I did was, that day, I registered. I posted on Facebook, and I told all my friends, I told all my students, I actually had seminars, and with my clients, I told them I'm running a half marathon race. This is less than uh, six months after knee surgery. Now, why did I do that? I did it because I wanted to declare to people that I was going to run this race even after knee surgery because I wanted to hold myself accountable to the goal that I set. Because if I didn't, I would look silly. People would ask me, oh, how'd you do in that race? Oh, I didn't do that. I don't want to say that. I was excited and I declared it. I shared it all over Facebook. I told everyone. And the more I told people, I actually anchored it into my subconscious mind where I got emotionally connected to running that race. So it gave me that inspiration. It gave me something to work towards for my exercise. So what I want you to do is remember, you have your fitness goal, you have your achievement goal, and then you're going to declare it with an email to 10 to 15 to 20 people that you respect, love, admire, and they love and respect you back. So this way it's going to help you hold yourself accountable when you declare your goal over the next 6 to 12 months.